Shopify versus Weebly. Hi guys, welcome back to the Imminent HD YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a comparison between Shopify and Weebly. So firstly, I want you to come on to Shopify. So when we come on to Shopify.com, we will be able to see this dashboard in front of you. Now, before we start ourselves a free trial, we can see all the different use cases for Shopify. And let's take a look at their pricing plans. So click on the top right where it says pricing and then we will be able to see their pricing plans. So their basic plan is gonna cost you $29 per month. Their growth package is gonna cost you $79 per month. Their advanced Shopify offer is gonna cost you $300 per month, but this is only, only suitable if you have a big Shopify store or if you have a profitable store from which you can use profit to pay for this plan. Otherwise, it might be a waste of money. And guys, if you want to grab any one of these plans, be sure to check out the link in the description and you will be able to get yourself a Shopify plan. So let's click on start your free trial and then from over here, put in your email address, your password and your store name. So once I do that, I'm going to catch you guys in just a second. So once you sign up, they're going to ask you these questions. So from over here, I'm going to ask these questions. So what am I selling? So I'm going to choose I'm selling just not online or maybe I'm just playing around. So after that, I'm going to choose my revenue, which is going to be up to 5000 PKR. I'm going to choose the industry. Well, my industry is going to be um twice maybe then click on next and then once you've chosen all of these things well after that it is gonna like ask you for your address and stuff so i mean like you can click on next and enter those things right now but i'm gonna click on skip and i'm gonna catch you guys once i've done all of that so that i can show you guys around the store so once you have signed up successfully on shopify you will be able to see this dashboard in front of you now from over here you can basically see that you can add products customize themes, add pages, organize navigation, and also add domains if you would like to. So now from over here on the left side, you can track all your orders, your products, your customers, your analytics, your marketing, your discounts, and your applications as well. So like everything that you could possibly need for your store, you can do that. So if I were to click on add product from over here, that is going to take me over to this page. So adding a product is pretty simple yet pretty neat. So if you want to add a product, simply put in a title, a description, some media, some pricing and some inventory. And then after that, you can just simply put in your shipping information, such as what is the weight of this particular item, some information for the customs. And then after that, simply do some SEO as well if you want to do that to basically get your store ranked on Google. And that is pretty much it. Your product is going to be published and your product will show up in search results on your Shopify store as well. So like that is something pretty neat and your product is going to be ready to be published. So from the left side, once you have added a product, you can just simply manage your inventory. So like, for example, if you add a product from over here and you put in that, like, you know, for example, if you have 100 pieces of a particular order, well, then if that product sells, this particular option is going to basically track all of your inventory and let you know if you have run low on any particular item. And then from the left side, you can even manage your transfers as well. If you want to like, you know, move your inventory or something, then you have collections and even gift cards as well. If, if you want to issue these to your customers to basically offer them discounts through email marketing, well, then this is also a possibility. And then below that, you can see all your customers. So like basically whenever a person buys, they will put in their basic information and you will be able to like, you know, individually target all the customers with like different deals. I mean, never over target them, just target them enough that they don't feel like, you know, they have been over spammed with emails. Never over spam your customers with emails because they will end up leaving you. And then at the left side, you have the marketing aspect and also the analytics. Now, the analytics right now are pretty boring, but if you have a lot of sales coming in from like different parts of the world, well, then these are going to be really fun to analyze. And you can definitely give your sales a boost if you were to analyze them properly and then use the data to boost your sales. Then you also have the marketing option through which you can basically market your Shopify store through different sources like Google, Snapchat ads, SMS bump, Omnisend, email marketing, you know, like all that good stuff. So definitely very, very possible. And then at the left side, you have the apps option. I mean, like using the apps option, you can add some pretty nice applications. So we have videos on our channel explaining everything about these particular softwares. So we do have videos on our channel telling you about the best Shopify application. So make sure to check that out as well. And again, if you want to grab any one of these applications, make sure to check out the link in the description and you will be 
be able to get yourself a very nice deal on these applications on Shopify. Now you have some pretty nice tools that you can use actually to like basically make your Shopify store stand out. And then that is pretty much it. Now Shopify might not look like, you know, super complex, but the features it offers are truly up to the standards. So guys, this was Shopify. Now let's move on to Weebly. So now come on to Weebly.com. So when you come on to Weebly.com, you can see that you can build a professional website that grows with your business. And scrolling down, we can even see some more features of this particular platform. Like you can get going quickly. You can get online ASAP. You can get selling and get growing quickly. So now I want you to click on create your website. And we are going to take a look at all the different stores that they offer. So now let's let it load. And then from over here, simply put in your first name, last name, email, and then simply confirm your email and sign up. And once you do that, I'm going to catch you guys in just a second. So once you've signed up successfully, you will be able to see this particular dashboard in front of you. So now from over here, you can basically start designing your website. If you haven't designed it already, add items, set up your domains, connect payment gateways, set up shipping rates, collect taxes and publish your website as well. So now let's say I want to add an item to sell. So I'm going to click on add item and then that is going to basically take me over to another page. So on this page, I will be able to basically just add items and add prices or whatever I want so I'm gonna click on add item and then from over here I can choose the item type the item title the price the description the visibility the fulfillment and also the weight and everything else that is needed by any shipper or by the customer itself and then over here again you can also SEO optimize everything so that way your product is gonna rank higher and that could ultimately get you more sales so coming back on the left side, we can see some more features. We have the site categories, we have the options features. So using the option features, you can add multiple options to your products. And this is gonna like let the customers modify the item exactly to what they require. And then below that you have coupons, gift cards, customer reviews, orders, fulfillment centers, reports, marketing, and almost all that good stuff. So basically you won't require any third party plugin whatsoever to manage anything else. And then similarly, again, you can track your sales via the online sales section. And then below that you have the site items, and all in all, you can view the summary by clicking on the summary and that is going to present you with a basic overview of how your store has been doing lately and everything that you might have missed. Then you also have the marketing options similar to what we had on Shopify. And then in that, you can make advertisements, automate procedures, add emails, market your product through emails, add segments, set up communication settings and all that good stuff. So basically you won't be requiring any more features whatsoever because Weebly covers almost everything again. Weebly is not free similar to how Shopify is. So let's take a look at their pricing plan. So if I were to click on upgrade, that is going to take me over to their pricing plan. So in their pricing plan, we see four different plans. So we have the basic plan, which is going to let us connect a custom domain. And this is going to be built annually. But if you were to build it month to month, well, then this is going to cost you $8 per month. For the pro plan, you are going to be charged $18 per month or $12 per month if you were to pay annually. And similarly, the prices get higher. And again, the features increase as well. Like in the connect, the basic version, you can only connect a custom domain. In the pro version, you can connect the domain plus add more customization. And then for the business, you can manage your business with professional e-commerce tools. And then for the business plus, you can scale your business with lower rates and advanced features. So like definitely a very, very nice way to actually scale your business once you start making some money. So guys, these were the key features. Again, if you want to grab yourself a free Shopify trial, Make sure to check out the link in the description. You will not regret it. And then also, if you want the best Shopify apps, check out the link in the description as well. And apart from that, I hope I covered everything in this video. And if I did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.